Hello everybody. We have another week of action in NCAA 14. And here, a real quick look. We have Southern Miss up next. And who is Southern Miss head coach? It's Scott Frost, the former offensive coordinator, or now in the game, former offensive coordinator of Oregon, and formerly a national champion quarterback at Nebraska. So big history there. It's the first season as head coach of Southern Miss, a struggling program since winning a conference title a few years back. And there's some visiting prospects, Jerry Shaw, Marcus Allen, and Josh Smith. A couple linebackers and a safety looking to get their their eyes on what Old Dominion may be looking like for the future as we're about at the midway point in the season. And it's pretty exciting, although it's a very rainy day. But we look, Old Dominion sits just a little below the halfway line there in the East Division. But have been on a little bit of a, a rise so far. Had a couple good games, a close one against North Texas there. As the West Division looks to be severely struggling, nobody has a winning record overall. <laughs> so that's pretty sad. Been a very weak out of conference play by the Conference USA in general, which is tough if we're wanting to get something like a BCS bid somewhere down the road. But Silva's pass overshoots Connor Martin, and that was just that was bad. So that ended that drive, and this is going to end Southern Miss first drive, and Southern Miss. Their offense is going to be very similar to what was run at Oregon. A lot of spread option and some potential no huddle as well. Um, so they've carried a lot of those concepts from Oregon over to Southern Miss. So who knows, maybe in a few years if recruiting goes well, Southern Miss could be a team to watch out for. But Silva's going to find Brandon Ellison. Nice patience there for 23 yards. It was a great little uh, pass there and a nice run route here. He kind of shook off the defender playing in his zone and made him pay for it. That's what we like. That's what we like to see. So out of the shotgun, it's going to be an option for Silva, and he's got great blocking. He will score. Oh my! 23-yard touchdown run by the dual-threat quarterback. He has proven to be fairly successful so far. He's had some struggles here and there. It's been it hasn't been perfect, but it is just his freshman season. So we'll be seeing how the future looks down the road obviously but here's Ricky Lloyd he's going to be running a lot of option today too like I said they carried a lot of those Oregon philosophies of spreading it out and actually running the ball very much like we do so we have two very similar offenses running at it here but Southern Miss runs much more up tempo and it's Jalen Richard who gets 17 on that one the leading rusher for Southern Miss though they've kind of been struggling so far this season they have not won a game Southern Miss is 0-4, and, and this is their first conference game of the season. So here we go, 3rd and 4 in Old Dominion territory. Lloyd looking to throw, almost picked off by the freshman Justin Weddle, who surely would have been gone for a touchdown, and they would settle for a field goal. So 1st and 10 for Silva out of the pistol, does a little play action. He decides to keep it himself, and look at the moves he puts on the defender. A nice big gain there for the quarterback, third and five. And what a triple option. Silva fumbles it, possibly trying to pitch it there and mistimed it. The defender disrupted the whole play and it's a turnover. A poor turnover there that gives a free possession to Southern Miss, but Lloyd is blown up by Larry Alston. I told you guys, I think I've said this before, but we have a really strong linebacking core. Probably one of the best I've ever had. Ever. Third and eight and Richard. This is what they do. This is what Oregon would do. Third and eight, not afraid to run the ball there. Third and thirteen, though, maybe a little bit different situation around midfield here. Lloyd is gonna find his man, but just about a yard short of the first down, and they would actually punt it away. I was surprised at their decision to do that rather than go for it or kick the field goal. But that's what happened, so I'm not going to complain. It was an 11-yard run by David Dixon. Everything going well. Dixon gets another handoff out of the shotgun. <laughs> and he is just going right up the middle and tearing up the Southern Miss defense. Because they just haven't seemed to found an answer for it. But we would come up to third and nine. And Spellman, the intended target, maybe would have had that if Wilkins hadn't stepped in there. But that's how the play went. And so Ricky Lloyd is going to keep it himself. Look at Lloyd. Shakes off a tackle. And he could go all the way. 
If he's not caught from behind, Gonzalez and Thompson in pursuit. Rob Thompson gets him at the ankles just short of the goal line, but that was a huge run by Ricky Lloyd. My goodness, how did our defense get burned that badly? I will never know. I will never know. But there it is. Jalen Richard does get in the end zone for the touchdown. That was frustrating. They set up for the extra point, and guess what's going to happen? Oh, he's going to miss. He missed. He, mi he missed the extra point. Maybe that's why he didn't kick the field goal when they were on fourth and one, because that would have been way out of his range. Because he can't even make an extra point. So strangely enough, it's nine to seven, late in the first half. <laughs> I, I just I don't know. I don't even have words for that. But Kevin Privet on 18-yard reception there. Clock is continuing to run, but ODU has all three timeouts. Silva's going to keep it on the option here. He has having a good day running the ball. And a first down for Old Dominion. Second and eight. A chance to at least take the lead before the half. Dixon gets the handoff. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, we're going to take the lead right now. Why not? Punch me in the face. 20 yards from Dixon this time. Second rushing touchdown of the game for the team. And it's 14 to nine at halftime. Strangely enough, after that missed extra point. Goodness gracious. Yes. Yes, yes. And a uh, weird view. From somehow we were under the stands, but another home game for Old Dominion. And another game with rain in it. Seems like so many games with rain. It feels like it. I don't know what that's about, but here we go. Some highlights from the first half, which you probably already saw. So, yeah. There's not going to be any more college football games. So, I, I've said this before. I think I'm just going to stick with this dynasty for as long as I can stretch it out. I shouldn't say stretch it out, but as long as I can uh, still have fun with it, which I am. And I think you guys seem to be enjoying it. I'm trying to get consistent, but things get in the way, so I do apologize. But there we go. That was the first half. Second half, Lloyd going to get blown up by Rob Thompson off the edge there. And one thing Old Dominion's going to do in this half is try and play the option a lot more aggressively off the edge there. And my goodness. Our best defensive back, Travis Gonzalez, just a little behind on that play, and he gets burned. And here's what I mean. Defensive backs are going to be playing a lot more aggressive against Lloyd and the option to avoid those big runs that we saw in the first half. And third and nine, a well-read screenplay. Still gets some yardage by uh, Tyree Bracken, but not enough for the first down. And so it's field goal time for the Golden Eagles. And uh, the guy who could not make... An extra point makes around a, well, I, I don't know exactly, like 39-yard field goal. But anyway, David Dixon gets the handoff, and it looked like he had a chance to bust it. Kirk Spellman actually kind of got in the way trying to set up that block, so that was kind of a funny happening. But nonetheless, Dixon is continuing to just eat up the yards. This defense has a hard time against the run. It's been one of their biggest pain points this season for Southern Miss, the stopping the running game. So... Old Dominion looking to abuse that as much as possible, although that pass was not exactly great. But Anthony White, fantastic kicker himself, drills that field goal from long range. And so it's 17-12, to and Old Dominion would hold Southern Miss. So it's another drive for Old Dominion off on offense, and things are just going so, so very well. The score may not totally indicate everything, but Harvey Taylor comes in for a little bit of action himself, gets 9 and on second and one, Silva's going to keep it on the option. Oh, wait, he's going to pitch it. Dixon has plenty of room to run. Can he squeeze it on the sideline? He actually gets pancaked there. I mean, he literally, he literally got pressed into a pancake. So I had to sit him down. And Harvey Taylor goes in for the touchdown. Oh, my. Three different players now have rushing touchdowns. Josh Silva, David Dixon, and Harvey Taylor all getting one apiece. And my, my, is it glorious. So it's 24 to 12. And that was kind of a weird option play, but it somehow worked for Southern Miss. And now we're at the start of the fourth quarter. They really have to get things going. And Jalen Richard runs over an Old Dominion defender. That was just, how do you let that happen? And what happened here, guys? Look at this. Ricky Lloyd somehow shakes off the sack from Caleb Taylor. I don't know what happened. Somebody explain to me what force bounces. Look at how far he flies. Okay, maybe not that far, but I mean... He kind of just bounced off him. So anyway, that would be that. That was that was the end of that for Southern Miss. And Old Dominion driving down late in the fourth quarter. 
Same score. Gonna pass it to Kevin Privet. And Southern Miss calls a timeout, but it is first and goal. So a quarterback sneak barely gets in there. It's another touchdown, his second. All the touchdowns were rushing touchdowns today by Old Dominion. And that would be it. The final, 31-12. And Old Dominion gets their third win in a row. Second in conference play, so they improved to 4-2. and 2-1 two. Two and in conference play. Poor Southern Miss still has not won a game this year. And things are not looking good for them. And Scott Frost is indeed on the hot seat, even though it's only his first season. But such is the life of a college football coach. Dixon, 170 yards and a touchdown. That's quite a day for you there. We will be getting into recruiting. I know a lot of you were wondering about that because there really hasn't been a lot. But it's been rather slow so far this season. There hasn't been a lot of movements, not a lot of commits early in the season. So we haven't really seen much. We will go over some more recruits in a bit, though. I do guarantee you that. Top 25 right there. Notre Dame is at the top. But uh, I saw a little interesting thing here in the top 25, and that's Oregon, who is 2-3. And, three. and I, had, I had to look into this, but they've played three ranked teams. They've lost to them. They beat Georgia State 73-21. to Holy cow. <laughs> But they really don't deserve to be ranked. I mean, they have played three ranked teams, but they don't really deserve to be there. If you're two and three, you should probably not be in the top 25. But anyway, that's enough of me rambling about that. I do hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you all next time.